Wow, it's very interesting. So you actually spend like four or five hours for every contest, including reading the docs, getting familiar with the code base, finding the vulnerabilities and reporting them. Are you a robot? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm I'm just not that, that good, good to be honest. honest. Yeah, because, no, because uh, sometimes Yeah, sometimes I, I do well on some contests. Uh, I learn quickly. I learn quickly. I spend a lot of time studying. Uh one of the best return uh, returns of your time of investment of your time is just reading past uh, coderino reports and chairwork reports. That's where I, I learn the most from. Uh, but uh, but yeah, I find find uh, issues now almost on each uh, Coderina contest. I found find at least one medium uh, severity vulnerability. But um, my reports are not that good, and sometimes I get the judges like uh, shitting on me. I mean, like uh, telling me that the report is uh, very bad, it's un unsatisfactory. But I have seen some some orders that are. Uh, I think are more than advanced. They are very good. They have been winning lots of competitions that actually uh, also uh, not spam reports, but uh, report almost everything they can find and they uh, they put it with a, a bit higher severity than, than it might actually be. And uh, the report is not always great because sometimes you are in a rush. Sometimes you, ju you just do not have the time, but you want to bring value to the project and you want to make money for yourself, of course. And sometimes my reports are not great, of course, when you put in like four hours. Uh, you, you, I rarely uh, have the time to actually read the docs of a project, but I can tell you this, that uh, all the times that I have put, put uh, a big chunk of my time into uh, reading the docs of a project, I did well. And it's, it's pretty, pretty logical, pretty... Uh, Mm. Yeah, it's it's pretty obvious. But pretty how do obvious. you actually? Because every contest is like a different protocol with different business logic, and sometimes it's like advanced DeFi concepts like collateral token and, and vaults and ERC four six something, and then you have ERC one one five five. So every project is different. So how much time do you averagely spend on just getting familiar with the code base and with the docs? How, how is your your process? How does it look like? Usually depends on how how much time I can spend on this on this contest. For example, one uh, for the last contest that were uh, with a bigger reward pool, like more than a hundred thousand dollars, I decided to spend more time and I got into the docs, read the docs, and then read the code and everything. But sometimes there are contests that are like uh, with a smaller reward pool, like twenty thousand dollars or whatever, for three days, let's say, and I'm a bit busier there. I do not have so so much time, so I just straight up go to the code and start reading line by line. And uh, you just get you just get those patterns. You get some issues that you can just see when you start looking at the code. They're uh, they're just um, poking your eyes. I mean, you you just see the problem. And uh, usually those 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 issues are very easy to um, that you can learn to find them. But uh, that's why a lot of people find them, and you get a lot of duplicates. But still, this way you can find some medium severity issues. But uh, as I said, the best way, the best way I do it when I have the time is uh, first get through the docs, read them well, and then start reading the code line by line. This, this is the best approach. And I, I know every, every good auditor advises on this.